from the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Krishna Russell. About 5,000 people have received their first shots of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine since the country began its vaccination program last week. The figure was provided by Deputy Chair of the National COVID-19 Vaccine Consultative Committee, Ed Fields. Mr. Fields spoke to the Tribune after it was revealed that walk-up vaccine appointments at one of the government's vaccination facilities, the Church of God of Prophecy, have been filled for the next three days. The local church, which begins vaccine operations today is also serving as an appointment center for residents without access to the internet or an electronic device to book their appointments. The East Street site is one of several vaccination centers that was scheduled to go live this week. According to Mr. Fields, the facility has the capacity to vaccinate close to about 250 people each day. A cabinet minister yesterday said he would not be very sympathetic if Bahamas Petroleum Company seeks to renew its oil exploration licenses, but the decision is not solely his to make. Ramal Ferreira, Minister of the Environment and Housing, told the Tribune he was unable to give a definitive government position on the matter, as his ministry was still checking to verify whether the oil explorer had formally submitted a renewal application. However, the minister, who was ultimate ministerial responsibility for regulating BPC's exploration activities, under under the Petroleum Act and accompanying regulations said he had yet to receive confirmation such an application has been made. The Ministry of Health said the marked increase in COVID-19 positive cases and hospitalizations since January is disconcerting. In a statement issued yesterday, health officials said they have been closely monitoring the figures and the increase on the islands of New Providence, Grand Bahama and Abaco. This comes as 33 new cases were confirmed on Thursday. Of those cases, 21 are in New Providence, 8 are in Grand Bahama, 2 in Abaco, while there is one new case each in Eleuthera and Exuma. These cases brought the country's case total to 8,986 for the year. A 14-year-old student from SC McPherson is in police custody after he allegedly brought marijuana-laced snacks to the school and sold them to students. Police said the incident took place on Wednesday. The boy in question allegedly sold marijuana-infused Rice Krispie treats to the students, four of whom fell ill at school and had to be taken to hospital by ambulance for medical attention. Later in the day, three more students complained to their parents about not feeling well. Police said they also admitted to eating the marijuana-infused cereal and were taken to to hospital for treatment. The student who was arrested is expected to face court charges today. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, Researchers in the U.S. and abroad are beginning to test younger and younger kids to make sure COVID-19 vaccines are safe and work for each age. The first shots are going to adults who are most at risk from the coronavirus, but ending the pandemic will require vaccinating children too. So far in the U.S., teen testing is furthest along. Pfizer and Moderna expect to release results soon, showing how two doses of their vaccines performed in the 12 and older crowd. Pfizer is currently authorized for use starting at age 16. Moderna is for people 18 and older. The town of Palma in northern Mozambique remained under attack from insurgents for a third day today, with residents trying to flee to safety and most communications cut off. International companies were only able to contact their staff in Palma by satellite phone, according to various company representatives. People are hiding in Palma's Hotel Amarula and at an area outside the town where there is a large liquefied natural gas project by the France-based firm Total, according to multiple sources. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. A high-pressure ridge will remain across the island chain, generating pleasant weather conditions. Beachgoers in the central and southeast Bahamas should exercise caution due to the risk of rip currents along eastern shorelines. For all areas, it'll be mostly sunny, hot, and breezy, with a chance of a few light passing showers this afternoon becoming fair and breezy tonight. A small craft caution is in effect for the central and southeast Bahamas. Winds east to southeast at 15 knots, but gusty at times in the northwest Bahamas. Easterly at 15 to 20 knots in the central and southeast Bahamas. Seas 3 to 5 feet over the ocean in the northwest Bahamas, building 4 to 6 feet in the central and southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 86 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 73. The sun will set this afternoon at 722 and will rise tomorrow morning at 706. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper, now on the streets. Or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.